Hello everyone, um, it's Austin here. Um, just doing a little bit of live streaming. Uh, you know, nothing much. Um, but I wanted to start a new character. Like a brand new character. Because I'm going to be leveling this character up as, um, you know, it's, you know, coming closer to time for, um, the, uh, the next expansion, the, the Warlords of Draenor. Um, so I thought, you know, in the time leading up to the expansion coming out, I figured I would, uh, just roll a brand new character and just live stream every time I'm going to be doing something with the character. So that's what do we're doing today. Um, and I, I rolled a, uh, a female uh, Pandaren Rogue. Her name is Brixie. <laughs> I don't know why. But uh, this will be the character that I'm, I'm going to uh, use to live stream to level up. Um, and you know, just... I don't know. Just, I just want to live stream. And just to, you know, just to talk about different things. Um, I guess... Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna you know fill the whole thing with conversation, um, but I, th I figured this would be a good thing to do. Also, because I just recently uh, resubscribed back to the game after being away for well over a year. Um, I, th I I got Mr. Pandaria, and I you know got to level 90, did a little bit of the raiding, uh, played with the monk. I think I leveled a monk to. 45 or something like that and I haven't really uh, played since I think I unsubscribed about um, oh god <laughs> um, I unsubscribed uh, I think it was maybe December of 2012 might have been January 2013 um, and then you know now it's you know September 1st 2014 and I'm just now subscribing back, so I've had a lot of time away, and um, I've been playing my main character, but um, I, I figured it'd be good to uh, start another one to kind of re-familiarize myself, even though I spent a good eight and a half, nine years playing the game. it's uh, It's been a while, so I just thought I'd start another one, and, and because, uh, you know, I see a lot of people streaming whenever they do a raid or something um, which that's cool you know that's fine whatever a lot of people do enjoy watching the raid content but you don't really see that many people doing like leveling content which I mean I understand I, I mean I guess I kind of understand why but I think I mean you gotta have some people out there that's got to do it uh, I, and I really see the thing I was I had no intentions of coming back to the game you know I've been doing some console gaming uh, there's other other games on PC that I've really been wanting to play and have been playing um, and for some reason I, I have a starter account just if I ever get the itch to play like maybe I want a PvP or something um, anytime I get the itch to play I'll uh, get on the starter account but I haven't even done that in probably well over a year but for whatever reason, I re-downloaded the game and uh, was playing on my starter account. And uh, it's, I don't know, I, I, guess I just had a character and he was like in Goldshire, um, you know, level 20, you know, maxed out for a starter account. Um, and I just went in there with no intentions of resubscribing. I don't even know why I re-downloaded it just for the starter account, but. I was in there, and just, it it felt so comforting, you know, the, the mu well, you know, the music and the lines pried in, and you know, you hear people crafting and mounting up and doing all kinds of emotes, and it just, after being away for that long, it just feels like home again. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, I miss this. So, of course, I resubscribed. Um... So and I, and I did that yesterday. So uh, yeah, here I am. And it's I just hearing stuff like that. You know, just the simple things that 
you know, you, you kind of, if you continually play, um, you don't even really think about. But after you've been away for a while and you come back to those familiar sounds and the familiar landscapes and everything, it just, um, it, it's just really comforting. And that might be because, I mean, you know, you, you spend, you know, a decade of your life almost um, playing this game on a regular basis and it, it just it becomes a part of who you are I mean I'm getting ready to be 22 years old so quite literally um, half of my life just about has been spent you know in this game I, I can't tell you you know hundreds you know well <laughs> thousands of hours have been spent in this game so it's you know it's, it's a real part of me um, and so I, I just I remember how uh, new and organic uh, the questing felt back whenever it was all very new um, so I, I thought I would start this journey just completely leveling up a character doing it all on video because you know I'm live streaming it now but I you know it's also I'll archive the footage even if it doesn't get watched that much you know whatever but um you know I'll probably put the video in segments on YouTube or whatever and it's just leveling up you know it's, there's no bells and whistles here it's not all flashy um, I'm not gonna try extremely hard to entertain because you know this will be a long process you know it doesn't it doesn't feel like it whenever you're uh, actually leveling but you know this this will probably take hours and hours so it's <laughs> and you know it won't be all at one time of course but um, I just figured anytime this character is progressing I will flip that button on for for live streaming um, and you know just babble on and talk while I play uh, heck if, if you want to I'll even if, <laughs> if I get enough complaints about it I'll just stop talking a lot and just uh and just play the game um, yeah that's that's pretty much why I decided to do this and because I've never and I chose rogue because I I don't think I've ever leveled a rogue past like 20, 25 maybe. Um, so I figured, you know, start it from scratch, whatever, it'll be all right. So that's what we're doing. So I'm pretty late to the game when it comes to uh, information and, and hype about uh, Warlords of Draenor. I don't know too awful a lot about it except for the, the highlights that we've seen. Um, there, you know, the level caps getting raised to uh, 100. You know, we'll have all of Draenor to explore, which I think is really cool. Um, I, I love, I really love all the lore that's, uh, that's in the game. I've read a few of the books. I don't pay that much attention to the, the quests in the game. It, unless it's like either like a, like a pre-expansion event or if it's, you know, I think uh, scenarios are a good way that they've kind of included some story in there. Even though it's not much, but you know, it's something. Uh, but in case you don't know, in case, and in case you were out of the loop like I mostly am or was, or if you're thinking about coming back to the game when the expansion hits, um, just a few things that are confirmed and that are even being beta tested now. You got uh, new zones 
uh, you've got uh, Gorgrond, I guess that's how you say it. You got the Tanan Jungle, I, and I could be butchering how you say these. Uh, you got the Spires of Arak, Arak, however you say it. I don't want to say Arak. <laughs> and then you've got Nagrand, or Nagrand, however you say it. Uh, Talador, and uh, Zangr Zangr Sea. And then you've got an alliance zone, which is Shadowmoon Valley. Um, you know, we've had that one before, of course. But So we have Shadowmoon Valley, and then the Horde uh, has Frostfire Ridge. Uh, I think that's cool that they're actually doing whole a whole zone for each uh, faction in this expansion. And I could easily be wrong, but I don't think they've had that since... Uh, well, I don't really... I don't think they've actually had any since Vanilla. Because the Burning Crusade, everything was new. I mean, they had little areas within each of the zones that were for each faction, but I don't I don't think ever since Vanilla they've had any zones that are completely for, uh, you know, one faction or the other. Because all of the ones in Burning Crusade were neutral, all the ones in uh, Wrath of the Lich King were neutral. 